السلام عليكم today we'll talk about views now view menu has very interesting things and uh, tricks around it okay and today we'll get some some of it and if you go for the first one in the view menu we have layout and then you have for example new layout is not active because it is related to tracking not to other uh, page or tabs i'm sure you are aware about open layout it asks you if you would like to save the current one now i open this current one is as a default uh, setting i say no and then if i open mine one of my views you have a different coloring for example and say open and you have a different setup you might have different colors here for the wbs or uh, activities codes or whatever you have here even here for this setups and this uh, names of the activities you have a different setup as you know so i will go step by step on what's there in view layout open which we just did and save layout you save the current setup and then if you want to save layout as and then when you save layout as you have it for all users for another user because you are an admin you will have this option or current user or to a project now layouts for a project that's very important because if you want to uh, export one of the uh, you know uh, what you call it uh, baseline project or an update you need to uh, export it with the layout this is the way how to do it you assign the layout to the project so you can export it and you need to export it by the way by xml okay and you say okay please save it also as a project okay and call it project view save okay and you name the project of course now this is for view layout and the available uh, information here now if you go to show on top you will see some of this are active and some of not active now because it works for different tabs okay if you are in the project is different to the activities different to wbs extra 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 so if i go for the first one this option is available only for activities tab projects resources and wbs so the table is this area here if you want to show the table, it is for activities, projects, resources, and WBS. It will not be available here and here. There's different views. Okay? So, table only, activities, project, resources, and WBS. Not for reports and not for tracking. So, every view has different uh, setup. And the table usually have columns, and the columns, you can specify them as you want. Okay? So this is how you do view, show on top table. And then if you want to show the Gantt chart, it will show beside it. This is this Gantt chart here. Okay? And we're still talking about top. So this is the top, and this is down. Please refer to other videos. Okay? Show on top. Now, Gantt chart is available only in activities, projects, and WBS. It's not available, of course, in resources. Resources has different charts. Okay? And this is how we do it here. Now, this is uh, for the uh, activities. You open it for the WBS also. You have it here. And also, if you open the projects, you have the Gantt chart here also. Okay? Now, if I go view, show on top, and chart view. Now, chart view is available only for projects resources and wbs not for activities okay sorry in activities if you go to activities it's still gun chart if you go to projects you get the chart view and the wbs activated here and if you go also to the resources if you open filter by all resources okay you can go to the chart and find also the chart for uh, all resources so chart view is available for projects wbs and resources 
okay? Because there is hierarchy in all of this, and you see how they are. Now you go show on top. This is a chart view, okay? Now, if I go out to the activities again and go view show on top, now I need another things to see. Now, activities users, because I am in the activities tab, it showed me activities user spreadsheet in the top, if you have units assigned to it or not. Now, of course, here I don't have, if I go to other project, okay, let me go to the gun charts just to make it simple. And let me go to something which we have units and resources, this one here, okay? Now I open it, now I go here and you see the units is available here. Now activity usage spreadsheet, okay, is available only in activity tabs. It's not available in other one, in other ones, and it is give me uh, the units used for each activity. It's from its name, it's activity, so it's available for activities only. Now, again, let me go to activity network. Now, we have activity network, which is similar to the charts, but this is different, okay? And you go zooming here, if you want, and it gives you the activities, you know, uh, details, like it is in the Gantt chart, but in different method of presentation, okay? And this is, by the way, is very good uh, information on this. Uh, and sometimes you need to look at it and uh, analyze it during uh, before baseline or after uh, having a delays. Okay. And after that, we go to uh, view top show on top, and you have this resource user spreadsheet. And you this is only work in resource assignment. So we open it and we go view. Show on top and resource user spreadsheet. Now it was there, of course. Now you show it like this, and then you go unlock for your activities and how much uh, resource are used here, like this one here. Okay, beer activities. So you have this resource here. You have this resource here assigned to these activities, and then. This resource, for example, if I go and collapse to third level, apply, okay, you will see here construction department resources and technical department resources. If I go deep, I go for technical resource, let me show you more, department what we have, and then QS department manager, what he has, and under it, the senior QS engineer. Okay, so let me go collapse to number four. Okay, or you know, go to number two. I want to show you something. Now, here I'm opening two projects. So, this one, let's close it. So this one is one project which has different uh, setup and construction manager, he has project manager one, project manager two under it, and he's, he has his tasks, okay? And technical manager, he has his tasks and also has other managers under him. And each manager will have other people around under him. So draftsman manager or unit manager, 001, 002, another draftsman under him with their tasks. So this show me the task assignment for each team. So this is the order few show on top. Okay. And how we work uh, on this area. Next video will be show on bottom. And it will explain the same actually in different view. So wait for us for the next video, uh, view, show on bottom. Thank you very much for watching and most welcome engineers. If you have any comment, please put it down. If you want to have any certain training, please put it down. We will try to do it for you. Thank you very much for your time. See you in the next video.